I will not be shaken. Do you know what that means? I'm an ordained teacher of God's Word, and this is Scripture Simplified, where we take a part of Scripture and we simplify it. Today, we're going to be in Psalm chapter 16, and I'm going to read the Psalm for you, and then we're going to talk about security, because one of the biggest benefits in being a Christian is that we have security. We will not be shaken, no matter what this world throws at us. Psalm chapter 16, verse 1 says, Keep me safe, my God. For in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. Verse 5 says, Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure, because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Now that was Psalm chapter 16, but we're going to go into the study Bible where it explains that we can take this into our own life and what it means for you to be secure in the Lord in this day and age. By saying that he will not be shaken, David was talking about the unique sense of security felt by believers. God does not exempt believers from the day-to-day -day circumstances of life. Believers and unbelievers alike experience pain, trouble, and failures at times. But unbelievers have a sense of hopelessness about life and confusion over their true purpose on earth. Those who seek God, however, can move ahead confidently with what they know is right and important in God's eyes. They know that God will keep them from being moved off his chosen path. David's heart was glad. He had found the secret to joy. True joy is far deeper than happiness. We feel joy in spite of our deepest troubles. Happiness is temporary because it's based on external circumstances. But joy is lasting because it is based on God's presence within us. As we contemplate His daily presence, we will find contentment. As we understand the future He has for us, we will experience joy. Don't base your life on circumstances, but on God. David stated confidently that God would not leave him in the grave. Most people fear death because they can neither control nor understand it. As believers, we can be assured that God will not forget us when we die. He will bring us to life again to live with Him forever. And this provides real security. One of the biggest perks of being a Christian is that security. In knowing that this life is not it. In many ways, it's not it. It's a fallen world that we live in. And having the security of knowing that our next place is going to be so much better keeps us going and it gives us hope. No matter what situations that you're enduring right now, you have hope for a future without pain, without suffering, in a world far more beautiful than this. And it's really sad that non-believers don't have that. They have no hope. Most non-believers think that they just die and go in the dirt and life's over. And it's very sad because this world is not the prize. This world is like the trial, and we have something so much better to look forward to. That is why, as Christians, it's so important to try to help non-believers find their way. A lot of them don't understand because it rains on the just and the unjust, too, which means we are not exempt from experiencing the trouble and the pain of this life. We're not exempt from that. But what's different is that we have hope. And we know that God's going to bring us through whatever situation we're in. And even further, we have hope of eternal life. So there's a lot of security in being a Christian. I will not be shaken. Meaning, it doesn't matter what this life throws at you. If you have Jesus in your life, you cannot be shaken. It doesn't matter what happens here. You have a hope for your future. I know this world can be hard. But I really hope reading this psalm today has made you have a little sense of security because you do have it. 
you are protected and you do have security if you are a believer. Have hope and confidence in your security that Jesus offers. May God bless you and I will see you soon on another scripture simplified.